A living legend shares how she helped to integrate Girard College and pave the way for future generations. CBS Philadelphia Montgomery County reporter Kim Hudson explains how this activist reshaped history. We saw them picketing at Girard College and we started walking with them. Bernice Mills Devon was just 16 years old in the mid 1960s when she moved to North Philadelphia near Girard College. Back then, it was an all boys school only for white orphans. In 1964, Cecil Moore said, I'm going to take it back to court. Mills Devon still has these pictures from the protest she joined to integrate Girard College the following summer as a member of the Freedom Fighters. It was led by former Philadelphia NAACP President Cecil B. Moore. She remembers marching while police watched. Being afraid, I mean, it was too, you know, we were young and you don't have that overall fear. She also remembers a scary day when police dogs chased her late sister, who also protested. Debbie tripped and fell. When she fell, the dogs were chasing. They pounced on Debbie, and the dogs start, you know, biting her and holding her down. The two both witnessed the change that would come. They were all into this one room. Student body now is predominantly African American. Gerard College President David Hardy is grateful to Mills Devon. Since 1968, this premier prep school educates hundreds of students of color every year. We send two kids to space camp every summer. That is an incredible uh, opportunity. The Freedom Fighters made Gerard's uh, will and his estate relevant to today's world. And uh, we owe them a debt of gratitude for that. And 60 years later, Mills Devon says she still cannot believe her impact. Wow, <laughs> you know, it's, it's a feel good and it's kind of overwhelming, but it's a good thing. You can hear from this living black history legend yourself. Mills Devon will speak here at Arcadia University tonight at 630. In Glenside, Kim Hudson, CBS News, Philadelphia.